Welcome back to Stand Up Nashville live from Zanies. More great comedy coming your way right now. Thank you. Welcome back, y'all, to Stand Up Nashville live from Zanies. Okay. Okay, you've seen him on Comedy Central and Kevin Hart's Heart of the City. Please welcome Plug Chapman. <laughs> All right, I ain't got that much time, y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> Man, so last week, uh, I got, somebody stole my cell phone, right? That wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was setting up all my accounts on my new phone. That's when I realized Google should take over national security. Because if you get locked out of a Gmail, good luck. You need a passport and a retina scan to get back in that thing. You know what? I don't even think Hillary tried to hide her emails. I think she got locked out of a Gmail and said, you know what? <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> you know what I messed up? I answered the first two security questions right. Questions that I made up. Apparently, it wasn't enough. Google was like, hold my beer. What day did you start this email account? I was like, what? I was got to thinking, I'm like, wait a minute. Now, I know there's some critical thinkers out there you're probably wondering, well, you get a welcome email. Yeah, that's the first thing you delete, right? <laughs> I was thinking to myself, who would save welcome emails? Nobody. I watched six seasons of Hoarders. They don't even save welcome emails. <laughs> I'm single, but I want to get married just so I can start an email account the same day. So in the future, I'll be calling my wife like, babe. Stop and get some champagne. We celebrate. Ten years ago, the username Longstroke27 was available. <laughs> that should be the new sobriety checks. The police pull you over. Forget that breathalyzer. Make you walk to that car and log into your email using that big computer they got. <laughs> but you get locked out, you get locked up. That's the rule. <laughs> So I'm a single dad, man. I got a 14-year-old daughter. Whew. Some of y'all, you know what I'm talking about. Seven years ago, I went to the state of Georgia, and I fought for full custody of my daughter. And they gave it to me. Hold your applause. Because I stand in front of y'all with the worst case of buyer's remorse I've ever had in my life. Oh. You know how bad of a parent you got to be to lose custody to a comedian? <laughs> oh my God. So now that I got a teenager, like, they all, all of my friends, we all got kids and we all got teenagers, but I'm the only one with the girl. So you know, I get all the jokes at the cookout. They be like, well, you ready? You got your shotgun? What you gonna do, bruh? My daughter ordered a $36 plate of oxtails at dinner the other night. I can't wait for her to start dating. Are you serious? <laughs> Boy, I set her up a Tinder profile last week. This ain't a game. <laughs> I can't wait. Little dude's gonna show up to the house. I'm gonna be like, how much money you got, bruh? $50. Ooh, what you gonna eat? <laughs> Parents, don't let your kid get cash app on their phone. It's the new way to beg. My daughter went to get her nails done the other night. I should have known something was wrong. She didn't ask for the money first. I get a cash out request for 80 bucks, $80. I got to pay it at that point, right? She come walking in the house talking about, well, we eat for dinner. I was like, you better eat them damn nails. <laughs> Bite them fingernails. <laughs> she used to live with her great grandparents right before I got custody of her. They 81 and 78, so she got an old soul. She watches designer women. <laughs> she wanted to be Rose from Golden Girls <laughs> for Halloween. I was like, ah, you more like Sophia. Uh, <laughs> she tried to use old people illnesses to get out of doing chores. I was like, hey, uh, it's your night to wash the dishes. She's like, give me an hour. My, my osteoporosis flaring up. <laughs> I don't whoop my kid, man. She's at that age, you know, that sassy mouth. Ugh. 
But it's a millennial kid. Y'all parents, I don't know, man. These kids, butt whoopings ain't the same no more. You got to take the things that they love, things they passionate about. Electronics, right? Cell phones. When my daughter pissed me off, y'all, I don't take her cell phone. I take the charger. <laughs> to watch somebody watch their phone go dead. <laughs> and they got to make decisions based off the remaining battery life. Oh. Sometimes jokes backfire. You got to be careful what you say. Put it in the atmosphere. It'll come to life. I go to pick my daughter up from school. Secretary was like, Mr. Chapman, have you met Carrie's boyfriend? She saw the look on my face. She tried to clean it up. She was like, oh, he's the number one football player in the state. He might go to the pros. I say, what's the kid's name, first of all? She was like, Dekitrius Johnson. I was like, that do sound like a first round draft pick out of the University of Oklahoma. <laughs> Mr. Johnson gonna be able to afford some oxtails one day, you know? <laughs> Ironically, man, believe it or not, <laughs> today, this weekend marks the 10 year anniversary of me being bald. <laughs> It's like, man, you always remember that date, don't you? Not you, you got hair. Um, <laughs> bald men, we be looking at our pictures of when we had hair, like women look at their pictures before the kids, like, oh, <laughs> woo, I was fine. <laughs> Being bald is like, win like, it's like winning a convertible, right? But you hate convertibles. And all of a sudden, one of your friends is like, why don't you never let the top down? You should relax. And you let the top back, and it breaks. <laughs> then you save the money up to buy the new part, and you find out that it's no longer being <laughs> made. <laughs> and then your job transfers you to Seattle, and where it rains all the time. That's what it's being bald is like, right? <laughs> I'm Plug Chapman, y'all. <laughs> Live from Zany's Comedy.